Earth is the only place in the solar system, as far as we know, that hosts life. But that is just as far as we know. There are very good speculations that there is life on other moons and planets in the solar system. Since we can't really confirm it, what would then happen if we were to send the toughest of our life organisms on Earth to, for example, Mars, or any place that is not extremely hostile? Kind of a scary thing is that it is known that there is bacteria that can survive a space travel. Such bacteria is Bacillus pumilus, which showed that they can survive a year and a half in space. You even have a whole Wikipedia page on tested microorganisms and outer space conditions, and some of them were pretty good at surviving those conditions. On the other hand, we have, if not the toughest organism on Earth, named Tardigrade, a micro-aquatic organism that can survive six times the pressure of the deepest spot in the ocean. They can survive being exposed to a large dose of radiation, as well as plus 150 Celsius and minus 250 Celsius, even in vacuum. They are an ability to survive these extreme conditions. Putting them on Mars, they could possibly last a few days, but in a dry state, a state in which they curl up into a ball and wake up when the conditions get better, they could go for decades still being alive. Mainly two problems with Mars, which they could somehow surpass, is that there will be no food and there is almost no oxygen on Mars. So, as far as we know, they probably wouldn't be able to reproduce. But there is a significant amount of water on Mars providing oxygen, and it could be possible that there already are microorganisms on Mars, so they could survive by eating them and start reproducing. But there is a moon which could host it even better. That is Europa, moon of Jupiter. Putting them in Europa's water ocean underneath Europa's surface they could be able to survive for a long time, and if they find microorganisms, they could feed off of them, since there would be enough oxygen. And that goes for every planet and moon that we have found to have an ocean underneath. So, all in all, these creatures are incredibly tough and stand a chance of surviving even on other planets and moons. But we as well probably tested some bacteria without our knowledge. By sending rovers to Mars, all of them, probably contain bacteria on them, and since there is bacteria that can survive such conditions, they could have possibly settled onto the planet and still are there on Mars. Imagine the disappointment if in future we would land on Mars and find dead microorganisms of Mars destroyed by our life from Earth. For that reason, we should not contaminate our solar system with any Earth life, and if we find life out there, we can see how they became what they are and gain much wider knowledge of how life could be formed and where could it be formed. They would be the actual aliens, not some myth in our solar system.